All right, Matt here with 911R, um, Avant Guard, I'm Brian Trailer. Um, this is a 67S that's uh, been in our uh, premium auction going this week. I just wanna do like a little walk around and talk about this car. I found this car in 2018 from the original owner. He bought the car in 67 at Hill, uh, Westside Volkswagen in Portland. He drove it till um, 71 when he put it in his shed and store, put it in the storage. It was a real unique story. He was a traveling musician, traveled up and down the West Coast uh, with a car. He drove the, he was the lead singer and the lead guitar guy. So he drove the 911 while his band uh, drove in a Hearst and traveled uh, up and down the West Coast, California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and uh, really was rock, living the rock star life in his 911. He, uh, you know, you know, started dating a woman, you know, and she got pregnant, decided he wasn't going to be a musician anymore. So he put his 911 aside, his rock star car, and uh, put it up in his uh, shed, uh, put it up on stands, and uh, did what he thought would be proper storage for later in his life where he get the car back out. Um, he, when he put it in the storage, he put it up on, on blocks, took the gas tank out of it so it wouldn't uh, rot, even though it did rot. Um, but the, what I thought was really cool is he wiped down all the chrome and rubber and moldings and stuff on the car with a, like a petroleum jelly. So it had this kind of cakey jelly on all this stuff, but really preser preserved all this stuff. I mean, it looks just brand new. This is all original chrome. Um, the tires on the car, he wiped down as well. When we went and found the car, we jacked it, you know, took it off the stands, aired up the tires. They still held air. Um, obviously, it has new uh, Pirellis on it now, um, but it was pretty neat. But the, all the door seals and stuff on this car just are the originals. And they're really well preserved. They cleaned up so beautifully. Um, the floors, everything about this car is totally rust free. It's never had any damage. It's all original paint. And it's just beautiful. The dash, the gauges, the seats. We did nothing to any of this stuff. This is exactly how it came out um, in 1967. So I got this car. I made a couple phone calls back then, called a couple of my buddy, Porsche buddies. You know, we had loaded up on the tow truck. We were about 10 miles away from our shop. Made two phone calls. I sold it to my buddy um, and we put it away in his garage at that time. It was covered in dirt, had cat prints on it. It was just a filthy barn find um, when we uh, got it. I put it in his garage. It sat there for a couple of years. Um, we then... I got a call from him and we said, hey, let's get the 67S running so we can drive it. Um, you know, I'm not sure what to do with the dirt. So we brought it back to um, Avant Garde shop and we decided to recommission the car. We took all the suspension off it and sent all the bushings out and, you know, everything all, all, all done. And powder coated the suspension, sent the brakes out. P&B did the brake calipers, um, which they're the only ones that can restore these early 911S calipers. They also did the rear calipers. We rebuilt the pedal box. We rebuilt all the, the fuel system on it. Um, you know, gas tank, everything was all been redone. Um, oh, by the way, the toolkit, I swear I was the first person to open the toolkit um, when we got this car. It was just pristine. I've never seen one um, in that kind of condition. The engine we pulled out, sent the engine over to Dick Elrood, um, who is a legendary Porsche engine builder in the Northwest. And he did the engine. It's the original sand case motor, um, completely restored exactly how it should be. It's all stock. Um, I've been, there's been some comments. These are the, are the original stickers. We never touched them, never messed with them. That's exactly how they are um, on these cars. So the engine, the gearbox was all completely freshened. The fuel lines, the fuel system, the shifter uh, console, that was all redone. Everything on this car is exactly how it came from the, from the factory. You know, there's been some talk about the square tip exhaust. It doesn't have it on right now. I called the guy who made them. He didn't have them at the time. I guess he has them now. I've got to call into him and see if we can buy, buy one for it, and I'll include if I can get a hold of him. The only other thing somebody uh, pointed out on this car, which I was surprised, it's missing the little escutcheon that goes around here. You can see it on the passenger side. Um, I guess the guy makes these two. We'll try to provide that as well if I can um, get it. Um, all the gauges, the steering wheel, everything is exactly how it should be on this car. Um, I could talk about this car for hours and hours. It's just really a special car. Uh, like I said, it got detailed uh, by Scott, distinctive details. 
um, here in January. It was put in the Arizona Concours. It was in the preservation class. It got second. I was up against an Aston Martin, a Gullwing, a 67 big block Cor Corvette, to name a few. You know, I think the car could have won, but the horn didn't work at the time. It kind of works now. It's not great, but um, it does at least function. Again, this is just a special car. There's, I don't know that there's been any original paint 67 67s, 67s out there. You know, this, this is just really a rare, rare, you know, I'd say as it gets the blue chip 911S. So any questions, hit the contact seller button. I'm really happy to answer anything. I know a lot about this car. You know, you know it's from my hometown, Portland. You, you just can't, can't beat this one. Let me know. Thank you very much.